Hey guys, Max here. I've had about 50 roommates because I rent rooms in my house and I've figured out a way to get house rules out of the way where you don't have to have an awkward house rules meeting. So here's the document I use to how to create, to how, how to create house rules when you're renting out rooms or if you just have roommates. Here is the template I use on creating the house rules. Let's go. All right, first and foremost, go to maxfindmoney.org slash rent your room. It will give you the template. You go there, it should pop up. If the internet, there we go. Get your free resources, type in your name, type in your email, hit get resources. Okay, so here is the, the roommate agreement that I created quite some time ago. Get your own right there. And I just gotta take it bit by bit. I do my best to, the best thing you can do is spell out things nice and clear, bright as day. You just don't want ambiguity. When you rent out a room, when you have a roommate, you want to make sure everyone's on the same page. Everyone understands what's going on. Everyone understands when rent is due. Everyone understands what is expected of them. You want to do this and you want to make sure everybody signs it so you can go back when there are issues, if there are issues. I've had some issues, not too many. I've realized if you give the responsibilities and the the expectations up front, then you really run into way fewer problems. If you don't go do any expectations, it's free willy. It's whatever, it's a free for all. Whatever anybody wants is okay because we never actually talked about it. So anyway, just, you know, everything here, you take the blue text, type it, type your information between you and me, the term, obviously, you type in data moving in. Again, this is, this is the lease agreement that you can also download from that, uh, that link there. It, it, this is, repetition, but it's good for everyone to see the things over and over again to make sure that everyone is on the same page. All this is just normal stuff. This is a big deal, overnight guests. I've realized I, I've had a small home before, a thousand square feet, three bedroom. When you have three people and they want to bring, you know, their ladies over, that, that's three times two, that's six people in a three bedroom, one bathroom house, which is absolute insanity. It's, it, it's too small. So I, my big thing is no overnight guests. Unless there's something like, you know, my, my, my brother's coming in from town. Okay, that's fine from out of town. That, that's totally fine. It, it's really important, though, to be on the same page because the last thing you want is someone's live-in girlfriend that was not supposed to live there, start living in there, and create issues. You, you just don't want that. Mine's it's a little strict. No parties or entertaining shall take place without the expressed written consent of all roommates in this agreement. Now, the only reason I do that is so if, if there's big issues, I can go back and say, hey, we had an agreement. There's no entertaining. There's no parties. This is not how this works. This is not a party house by any means. So again, just make sure everyone's on the same page. Pets, uh, no hair from me. I sneeze a lot, and I try to sneeze less. So everyone's on the same page there. And then this is important. So they understand from 9 p.m. to 7 a.m., it's quiet. A lot of people to sleep. People want to sleep. Everybody wants to sleep. So if you make sure everyone's on the same page for the sleeping times, you can go back and say, let's enforce this. Let's actually allow everyone to sleep because once your sleep schedule is off, your life becomes absolute hell. So make sure everyone's on the same page there. Obviously, if you don't smoke, you don't want any smoking uh, anywhere. Then I, I put this, alcohol is allowed because some people are very sensitive and what are you, are you trying to control me? No, I'm not trying to control you. There you go. You can have alcohol. Just don't be belligerent. Make sure everyone's on the same page. Obviously, parking spaces, chores, everyone's on the same page there. So this is just in addition to the the lease agreement, which we're going to look at right now. In addition to the lease agreement, this is just an extra. So it, there's a few more stipulations on chores, parking spaces, overnight guests, alcohol, things like this. The last thing you want is someone who doesn't drink, someone who likes to party, come together and you're not on the same page. That's why you really want to make sure you show these to the person before you actually agree to rent the room to them. Before you actually become a roommate, you want to make sure you're on the same page about these really important things. If one person loves drinking and one person does not, you may have issues. If one person loves partying and one does not, you're probably going to have issues. So it's better to have someone like-minded and has a similar lifestyle than someone who is totally different. But anyway, this that, the, the, the roommate agreement is to supplement this lease agreement that shows all the stipulations and all the legalese and all that junk. So when you go to the maxmymoney.org slash rent your room, you'll get access to the roommate agreement, which is what we just went over, 
the lease agreement, which is what I've used for over five years now, and roommate questions. So if you're think if you're still in the process of thinking about renting a room to somebody, then answer the, go through these questions. I have 17. They're really really good, and they are very helpful. Like this one. Can you put down the deposit? If they can't put down the deposit, scratch the name off the list. Tell them thanks, but no thanks. I don't expect anyone to pay my bills. Don't expect anybody. I don't. I, I don't have anyone expect me to pay their bills either. And then lastly, the room advertisement. If you're ju if you're ready to pull the trigger and you're ready to do it, here's an advertisement I've used for a long time now, and you can just copy and paste and type in your information, and it makes it really simple. So make sure to go to that that site and. After about five years of doing this and 100% rent paid, not always on time, but always paid nonetheless, uh, these four documents that I have here have been very helpful, very instrumental on making sure everyone's on the same page and where you have clarity, there's no ambiguity, everyone knows what they should do, and the hope is everyone does as they're supposed to do. But that's not, that's not always how it works. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.